Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to help you find a good PvP server without raiders. Ooh, they are rare, but they do exist. First of all, click Join Arc. This will bring up your server list. At the top we have icons for what you're looking for. This one's the original game. This is a new Scorched Earth DLC. This is both mixed together. This is if you want a PvP server. That's PvE. And this shows them both grouped together. We want PvP so click that icon. And we want to play on a new Scorched Earth. That brings up a list of your selected servers. Now you want to find a server that's less likely to lag. So click ping, then scroll up to the top. When the ping arrow is pointing up, it gives you the servers with the best latency first. What I do next is try and find a server with the least amount of players. Apart from hardcore because you lose everything when you die. The fewer players they are, the less likely you are to get raiders. When you find a low populated one, click join server. And wait a while as you load into it. You get to the character creation screen, but don't bother altering your appearance yet, you can do that later if you find a good server. Select any region you want to spawn at, then create your new character. Squint your eyes on this bit because you're about to get blinded by the sun. Ok, after the long animation, if you survive, ask in chat if this is a friendly server with no raiders. Hopefully you'll get a quick response, sometimes it'll take a while, and other times no one replies. Now you want to note down every server number you go to, and their response if it was friendly or not. If no one replies, mark it down as a question mark, then come back later. You need to list the servers you've been to, as you might go back to the same one again and again. Finding a friendly server where any raiders get wiped out is quite rare. But these do happen when you have a large tribe of nice people. These just normally want to get on with a game and are brave enough to come to the aid of small tribes when they get raided. If you are a group of friendly tribes on a server, talk to each other and then form an alliance. Add each other to Steam so you can talk out of game and form your strategies without anyone finding out. No one replied on this server so I'm going to move to the next one. If somebody gets raided on a server, you must group up with other tribes and wipe the raiders out. If you're able to help but do nothing, then it's only a matter of time before you get raided and wiped out yourself. All the friendly tribes must band together and form an alliance to protect themselves. Otherwise one raiding alpha tribe will dominate the server, and this is why. Say you have two tribes on a server equal size, with 10 players each. One tribe is friendly and farms for other resources to make the base. They bring in a steady stream of materials and build up gradually. Now we get to the raiding tribe. Not only do these people not care that you spent days taming your creatures and weeks levelling them up, or the huge amount of time you spent farming to build your base and equipment, but the raiders actually get enjoyment for destroying everything you've done. This is mainly down to their inferiority complex, and their desperate need to try and feel superior to the other people on the server, as this stems from their extremely small genitalia. I'm talking acorn size here. That's why these people are not only pricks in game, but in real life as well, as they waste hundreds of hours of real people's lives. All the tribes on the server go out gathering resources and collecting airdrops. But when a tribe is raided, those resources it collected goes to make a raiding tribe stronger. If they have any good equipment, like rocket launchers or explosives, then those are used to raid the next tribe. And once again, all the stuff a raiding tribe steals goes to make it harder to defeat. It makes their base harder to attack, and they have all the weapons that stole from the previous raided tribes. If the raids go on unchallenged, a snowball effect happens where the raiding tribe is stealing and getting in so much resources that none of the other tribes on the server can compete with them. This ultimately leads to one dominant alpha raiding tribe, making a lives hell for everyone else on the server. So, even though the two tribes started off with the same amount of people, the raiding tribe has stole everything the other tribes had collected. So where the friendly tribes have just been farming for themselves, unwillingly, other raided tribes have been farming for the raiders. 
But one main weakness the raiding tribe has is that there's always more friendly tribes on the server than there are hostile ones. However, they usually don't talk to each other and stay separate. That makes them weak, so the raiding tribe can pick them off one by one. If you're friendly and want to play on a PvP server, you all must band together, as if you don't and you get raided, you're actually helping the raiding tribe to be dominant. Organise and form an alliance. Then wipe out any raider that comes to your server, before they become unstoppable. Some raiders will wait until they're strong enough before they start attacking people. So to find them out, create weak target houses. Something made out of thatch or wood. If they are a kind of tribe that would break into a weak house early on, then there will be the same people who break into your strong base later on in the game. Also, keep in mind that some tribes will act friendly to start with. Then when they get too powerful or bored, they'll turn on you. Like when Sons of Valhalla raided me that you can see here. A tribe only needs about three bases. So if an ally is building huge bases all around the map, keep an eye on them because they might be planning for war. So, my fellow nooblets, unite and together you can take back the server. You'll still get plenty of PvP wiping out all the new raiding tribes trying to join, but this time you will be the dominant force on the server. Anyway, back to the server search. If you join a server and see lots of demolished buildings, you'll instantly know there's a raiding tribe on here so you won't have to ask anyone. If they've been taken out in stone, there's no way you're going to survive in thatch, so leave straight away and look for another. Like I say, it's going to take a while to find a peaceful friendly server, but keep trying because there's a few out there. Otherwise you can all band together and wipe out the raiding tribes. But you must do it as soon as possible, as if you wait too long the raiders will become unstoppable. If you find a friendly server and you want to transfer your main character to it, this video will show you how. Thanks for watching and if this was helpful please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other helpful videos at the end and I'll see you again. Goodbye.